10 toes, that's my MO. All right, y'all. I'm out here, man, not even seven minutes from the house, picking up a damn old Isuzu. Oh, can you see me? Picking up an old Isuzu, it's like 8.30 in the morning. I got here at 7.40. I don't think it's 8.30 yet, quite. Let's see. 8.22, damn near. So I've been here like 40 minutes. The guy tried to lowball them, so they've been going back and forth. But anyway, this is what we're picking up. 1994 Isuzu. There was some miscommunication, so they couldn't get their money right. He was just, the seller was expecting a certain price, the buyer was expecting a certain price. But they finally got that squared away. I think they agreed at 2400 for that thing. It's got like 230,000 miles on it. It's not bad. I'm literally, man, like seven minutes from the house. So this thing is paying like 320 to go 68 miles to Tucker, Georgia. So that's why I'm out here early loading it up. I probably ain't gonna take it till later, but I'm just gonna load it up and uh, worry about it later. So you ready? So uh, we're gonna load it and damn, get it on the bottom here. I don't wanna touch it because it might make it worse. Oh yeah, that went strong. Yeah. That was it, y'all. That wasn't too bad. I didn't want him to gas it at the beginning like that. And then I hit my mess right here. Let me 
should be alright. Got it on there pretty even. I'm gonna put some straps on that mug. And uh, I think I'm gonna park it and run some stuff with Quan's truck and then deliver it later on today. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, we got it loaded. That was an ordeal. I did not plan on being here an hour. I mean, I didn't have nothing to do. Well, I do have stuff to do. I have some uh, pedal cars to run, but this was supposed to be a quick show up and, and go. And the thing that got me upset really is the guy begged me, the buyer begged me. He begged me to be here at 7.30, no later than eight, because he had to go to work back in Riverdale or somewhere. So I get up on a Saturday. Now mind you, today's Saturday, I get up and I'm here and he changed the whole plan. He's just gonna sell the guy the money. So he wasn't coming. So I was like, come on, man. Bruh, come on, man. I could have slept in, got here at nine or 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. But we got it loaded. Um, like I said, I'm gonna sit on it for a few hours, deliver it later, and uh, we're gonna ride. So this is gonna be like 320 for 68 miles. And the pickup was seven minutes from the house. So. I'm happy with that. We're gonna get out of here and uh, I'll catch up with y'all later. I might shoot the pedal cars, man, make a video out of this. Uh, originally, I just wanted to show y'all the BS that you deal with sometimes, uh, trying to pick up vehicles and stuff, because this dude really wasted, wasted my time. I don't have to get up this early, but I might shoot the pedal cars too and just make a video out of it. We'll see. All right, let's, let's let, do gravity. Let gravity do its thing. I'll line you up. Then when you feel it starting to stop, then you can stop. All right. Right there. I got it. Put it in park, and I'm gonna put the winch on it and take the rest of the way. All right. I like these older ones. These older ones got these hooks in the front. Yeah. They're easy to get. All right, put it in neutral. Put it in the park. We good. All right, y'all. Right, All right, appreciate it. We got this one. This one is for pedal. How, how far is this one? I think this one is 18 miles. This one's paying 89. This is paying 90 dollars to go 18 miles. So let me uh, put some straps on it and go deliver it. Check back in with y'all in a minute. Y'all, it's my lucky day, boy. I'm out here at the auction and they open. They ain't never open on Saturdays. So I ain't have to open the gate. I ain't have to write on the windshield. Print me off a sticker. Man, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Man, I, I just blessed, man. Uh, so I got one more around the corner, like nine miles. So I'm gonna bring that back. And then I'll probably, depending on what time that is, I'll probably shoot back where I just came from because that dude, I just got that Isuzu from, got a Ford Taurus, he also sell it to them. So, uh, man, I ain't have to open the gate. None of that, man. That's what I hate about coming after hours. That's why I try not to. So, uh, man, I'm happy about that. Look at this, you would think this mug was super, super clean. It is busted up. Damn. All right, let me run around the corner and get this other one. All right, y'all, so I'm out here at this next one. It was uh, 9.8 miles away. They couldn't agree on the price. Um, they tried to <laughs> lowball them, kind of, in my opinion. It's got like 230,000 miles on the 99. Uh, they offered them like 260 for a running and driving car. And then they brought it up to like 365. 
and uh, they decided not to sell. So uh, I'm out of here. So basically, I get paid like 45 for coming out here, and it would have been 60 to deliver it. So now I don't even have to go back to the auction. I can just go to my next one, and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. All right, I'm back out here again from where we picked up that rodeo. We're going to be picking up that damn uh, Taurus right there. I'm going to probably do a uh, time lapse on this one, so uh, enjoy the music. Well, if I'm driving this, then who's driving that? Look at Quan, y'all. Look out. <laughs> she done pulled right in right there. Oh, they ain't got no diesel, I don't think. Oh, man. They ain't working. We needed some diesel and some gas, but it ain't working. What's up, girl? What's up? You whipping that thing? You by yourself? I guess they out. Uh, we can go to uh, we can go to that racetrack, I guess. Oconee Connect. All right, I'll meet you over there. Look at her, y'all. Ooh, she working today. You gotta move that hair out the way. Look at that. She's rocking that green. So am I, so am I. Got the one on it? Oh yeah. You like it? Yeah. Hey y'all, it's crazy, man. We both hauling today. And guess who almost had the accident? I did. I almost lost control of her damn Yukon. Uh, fist tailing, um, swaying in the back. You know, it's been a long time since I had sway. I don't get it in this because it just weighs so much. But in her Yukon with that uh hold on let me let me turn it around. With that uh car being backwards, I didn't even think twice about it. All the weight is at the back back there. And uh that thing went to fist tailing. Well not fist tailing, it went to swaying. Uh, I think we got it on that dash cam. I'm gonna have to see if I can pull it off. I'm glad that I was the one driving it because I know how to uh, get out of it slow. And I wouldn't have thought to, you know, tell her nothing about it because I forgot about it myself. So it's just crazy how, like, decisions that you make works out. That's crazy that we decided that you stay in this one and me stay in that one, huh? Yeah. Because as soon as you would have got up, what, what had happened to me at? I wouldn't have thought to tell you not to go 60, 70 miles an hour, you know? Yeah, because I want to know. Dang, boy. I wonder how much of it did. Did you see a lot? Did you seen it swaying? All of it. Because it felt like it was swaying worse after you passed me. Yeah, right after I passed you, it got real bad. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. But luckily, I know how to get out of it. But we decided that she stay in this one, and I just stay in that one. Not for no particular reason. We just... She know how to drive, I know how to drive. So we just said, uh, she was finna pass the exit that I was on. I said, well, just keep rolling in and I'll hop in right behind you. So I was more kind of watching her drive by me because I was on the exit ramp, well, the on ramp, and she was driving by. And, uh, you know, that's kind of a proud feeling to see your wife down driving by in your truck with a load on the back. So I'm starting to get off the ramp and starting to get up to 60, 65 miles an hour. And uh, hit like a little bump. Boy, that thing started moving, boy. Yeah, it was rough. So hopefully the dash cam caught it pretty good. But uh, it's just amazing, man, that it worked out like it did. Because I don't I don't know if you would have been able to get out of that. That was bad. Like, that, that shit scared the hell out of me. I know it did. <laughs> but uh, 
This our third store, man. This is the third store we went to. The first two that had no diesel. So I'm gonna go on and fill up, even though this that ain't a desirable price, but we're gonna fill it up and then uh and hit the road. The auction is about four minutes that way. We'll drop the tourists off and she can go home and I'm gonna take this and go like 45 miles and deliver it. Then I'm gonna be headed back home, get ready for them dogs. That's it. We doing the damn thing, y'all. We out here 10 toes down. Yep. Look. You see it, what is it? <laughs> yeah. We'll holler at y'all later. Y'all drop the comment. What y'all think about the search, man? I meant to say that earlier. Drop the comment, man. Brand new. Yep. Just started Official. rocking them last week. Yeah. You like the orange or the green? Green. Yeah, I like the green too. That's why I bought mostly greens. So you only got one orange. Did you tell me the kids got one too? Yeah, the, all the kids got one. They had to be official, but nobody wanted to come with me. It's okay though. All right, so this one's about ready to go. Yeah. You gonna pull out? Pull out and pull beside the truck, and I'll uh, I'll lock the gate. Here. Hold on. And then uh, we're gonna make our swap. I think we swapping. She had mentioned she might want to go with me, but I don't really want to leave that vehicle out here. So probably swap. She'll go to the house. I go deliver that, and uh, that'll be it. So I'll probably cut y'all back on when I get to the delivery for that. Like I said, it's supposed to be about 45 minutes away. All right, y'all. We done made it out here. It actually took about an hour because the uh, um, traffic. But uh, we're gonna get it off right here. Let this down. Give me somewhere to set the camera up. Should just dry right off. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Ooh, gotta get the right. Gotta get the right angle. don't want to stay running now well I mean it'll stay running but it, as soon as I put it in reverse acting like it want to go out so let's see if we can I'm trying to get it in that spot so I let it roll off in neutral
Boy, that's gonna have to do there. <laughs> I can't get the key out. There we go. I gotta see where they want me to leave the key in. What's it called? That? That's gonna have to do there. KJ has done his job, people. Yeah, it's out of the way. They can move it if they so please. This thing ran great this morning. Well, I ain't gonna say great. It idled great this morning in the cold weather while I was picking it up. Take a look at this over here though. Shades of red, dog. They got old Cummins M14 on a pallet right here. I need to call and see if they're gonna do it there. M14 Cummins. This one's got, looks like 435 horsepower. Anyway, let me uh, see where they want this title and this key at. And I'm gonna head back home. I think I'm an hour from the house. Um, I think I'm an hour from the house. Matter of fact, let me call him, double check where to put this, see how long I am from the house, do the math on how much we made today, and then I'll be right back with y'all. All right, we got that done. Uh, I got the address typed in. This is actually the address to the next pedal vehicle hour and 12 minutes 63 miles and that is about 14 minutes from the house so if i pick that vehicle up and probably keep it on the trailer for a monday delivery it's probably what i'll do um that way i already have it and i don't have to be on nobody else's time picking it up uh so far we at 534 534 made and if i pick up this next vehicle that's 120 so then we'll be at 654 so that's a pretty good day for a saturday and right now it's 235 so still got plenty of time left the dogs come on at 330 uh it says i'll be to the house at where well, i'll be to the next car at 348 and like i said that's right around the corner from the house so i can load it and be home by easily by 415 so I'm finna check out of here. Um, like I said, I think I'm gonna pick that last car up. Uh, I might cut the camera back on, I might not, I'm not sure. Uh, but if I don't, appreciate y'all watching. Like, share, subscribe. And I guess if I do, you'll see more footage, but I don't think I'm gonna film it. It's like a little Honda Civic or something like that. So I don't think I'm gonna film it. But anyway, we're gonna holler y'all later on. Peace! All right, y'all, checking back in with y'all, man, while I'm watching these dogs on the phone. Just started. Interesting development, man, my boy. That's my boy right there, Paul. Look where I'm at. Back out here where I was at early this morning. So uh, when these folks declined that offer from Pedal, uh, the, the son said he was going to list it on Facebook. Uh, so I, said, I called my boy and said, hey, I got this running vehicle. They're gonna put it on Facebook. If you want the phone number, you can call them and you know, maybe you can get it before it goes to Facebook. So he called them and I ain't really sure what all they're talking about, but uh, he said uh, he was gonna stop by when he got off work. So after I just ran all that other stuff, we timed it just right. I got here at like 3.32. He just pulled up at 3.45, so I had to wait for a few minutes. But, um. He's here to get that bad boy, and I'll take this one. It, this was on the way home, really. Um, from where I left, I just had to stay on the interstate and uh, come here, and then taking it to his house is another 31 minutes, which is going towards that other car that I wanted to get, going back towards my house and all that. So um, I told him $100 uh, for this, so that 534 now becomes 634, and if I get that last car, you know, that's 120. So that's gonna be 754 for a Saturday. But um worst case scenario, if you add this hundred, we at 634. So let's wait till they get it uh figure out did, did somebody answer? Yeah, they come to the Oh okay. I'm just trying to get me. Yeah, trying to get my little thing. I hear you. I gotta put my damn hoodie on, boy. It's getting cold out here. But uh yeah, if, if they lock in, man, we'll uh load it up and then uh head on to the next stop.
Turn this way a little bit. Hold on. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Turn the wheel this way just a hair. Put it in part, cut it off. Alright y'all. Run this one home right quick. Huh? You can leave the key. Oh well, I guess if we're going to the same place, you can. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Gotta get these dogs back on. But anyway, yeah, we got it. Um, put some straps on it, lift my ramps up, and we'll be delivering in about 30 minutes. He's about 23 miles away. All right, y'all, got that last one dropped off on my buddy. I wasn't gonna film this one, but I am gonna show it to y'all because I'm trying to figure out which way I wanna go about getting this. Look at this steep driveway. I don't wanna back down here. Um, and. Yeah, I don't really want to back down here. I thought about backing the trailer, but the problem with that is I'd be lopsided. You know, one side would be, you know, the car would be lopsided too, but I just don't want to do that. And I don't want to back up right here because it's not enough room to really get it like I need it. Because the trailer would be, for me to get the trailer ass down low to have a good incline, you know, I need to be up. So I think I'm gonna, Use a snatch block, come off of there, and pull this up to the road, then put it in part, and then pull up and do it that way. I think that's what we need to do. Uh, let me double check with these folks, make sure it's good to go before I ever touch it, waiting on these folks to respond. But basically, I want to come off with a snatch block and bring it up, really. Um, I wish I had something that I could put in the center. You know what I'm saying? Because you want your spool to always go down, straight down the middle. Uh, but this one, the synthetic rope is so big, it, it, it's not like my little, my little trailer where the spool can get, you know, I mean, uh, the, the wire, the rope can get on the outside and bind up. It doesn't do that. So it'll be, Pretty decent. I think that's the best way to go. So we're gonna give that a shot. I got 80 feet of winch, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. I think I'm gonna try to use a, a toe strap. That way the winch won't be so far out and spool into one side. You might be able to see what I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't know if it'll, I don't know if I'll shoot that. Basically is what I'm saying. So let me, uh, Make sure these folks is good to go and I get back with y'all when I decide what to do. All right, so I got it set up, but I want to show y'all this is what's going to happen when you don't come down the center of the trailer. So I kind of need a way, I kind of need a way in the future for me to pull from the center and then out of a snatch block because you don't want this to, you can see it came from here and then it wrapped around and now it's on this side. So it's going to be a lot of gap in the middle. You don't want that. I can make it work but that's that's not ideal that's not ideal so um i use this uh black strap so i wouldn't have so much line out that's why i wanted to use this so when that line wraps like you sit like i showed you it ain't that much line out for it to do that that's why i wanted to use this had i brought the rope out this far then that would have been you know a lot to spool up the wrong way i don't want it to do that i gotta get this wheel turned i think i'm gonna do a time lapse i just wanted to show y'all how i plan to get it up there so let's uh get that started enjoy the music
Uh, she said, you're very professional. You know what you're doing. <laughs> I wish I would have been recording. But well, we got it, man. Got to record with the phone because it's dark now. And you know the GoPro ain't worth a damn. But we got it. That took me about, actually winching it, probably about 20 minutes. Um, I've been here for 30, but that was kind of doing the pedal thing and surveying what I was going to do. So that was about 20 minutes worth of actual winch work. Uh, and that's it. I'm gonna deliver this one on Monday. This was paying 120. So like I said, we ended off on 634. If you add the 120, that's gonna go Monday. You talking 754 on a Saturday. Well, mostly on a Saturday, of course. Uh, so that's not bad. That's pretty good right before we go on a uh, old vacation late next week. So that's it. I'm about to get out of here. Uh, put the dogs back on. It's got to be a third quarter by now. But uh, that's it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, man. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. We're going to holler y'all later on. Peace!